Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel. And I have not forgotten you guys on the issue of the binary system Planet X. It's just a matter of getting the time to put everything together for that uh, so I can share that with you. But I, I did want to share something with you. Uh, the picture you see in the background is only more of a prop. It's not uh, anything it's particularly significant other than it... Uh, is a reminder of something that happened to me years ago, many, many years ago, in fact. Uh, I was doing a case, investigating a case uh, at this one facility, and while I was there, of course, when you're doing an investigation like that, uh, I was doing undercover work, so I had to, to blend in as if I was just one of the other guys there, uh, as if I was... Um, a bad guy, so to speak. And I'd been there for, for, I don't know, maybe about a month at the time when this one black guy kept watching me. And one day he walks over to me and he waited till he could get me alone. And then he says to me, he says, you know, you may try to act like you're one of us, he said, but I know you're not. And um, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, boy, this, this could go very awkward. And uh, But but it also knew, too, I was pretty good at what I did. So I knew how to just kind of go along with the conversation, uh, even if it was something that's exposing my cover. Um, so, so I asked him, I said, what do you mean something I'm not? I said, that doesn't make any sense. He said, well, you know, he said, I've been watching you, and I've been watching you for, for days. And he said, you're not one of us. You're actually a believer in Jesus. And I'm thinking to myself, how in the world would he know that? So I just listened. I said, what are you talking about? He said, look, he said, I used to be a Christian. He said, but I got really strung out on drugs really bad. I got into dealing and stuff like that. And he said, I know my mama's been praying for me. He said, but I wouldn't listen. He said, but what I really need is I need Jesus really, really bad. And he said, and the thing is, I know you are a real believer. He said, you might be trying to hide it here. He said, and I don't know why you're trying to hide it. He says, I don't care. He said, all I know, though, is if you you don't pray for me, something ain't, I need something to happen, and if you don't pray for me, it ain't going to happen. And I tell you what, I never felt the way I did that day. I don't want to say I felt little about it because I knew I had a job to do. I wasn't like that. But I realized just how great God was. How well Jesus knew everything. And no matter how much you could fake being a bad guy, here a man that was in distress, that was in need of help, was able to see past all of that. And then he got the courage to say that to me. And I'll tell you something. I knelt down with him right there in front of all these other men that thought I was a bad guy already. And I prayed for that man. And God changed his life completely. Needless to say, I didn't stay on that job much longer because at that point there, people begin to suspect something's not normal here. Uh, but you know, it was, it was, I have to say it was the greatest case I ever worked because the one that really was in trouble is the one that God helped. Not, not the other way around, not what we were looking for in crime. So I just, I say that, I share that testimony with you. Because I saw something recently that brought that back to my memory. I had totally forgot about that story until just the other day. I had an event that happened that brought that back to my memory about that story about that black man. 
And I don't know where he is today. Like I said, at that time, I was a young guy myself, probably 26, 27, something of that effect there. So, you know, you're going over 30 years ago. Um, and, and he was a young guy too, you know. So maybe he's like me, late 50s, uh, early 60s by now. I don't know. I don't know if he was older than me or younger. I think he was a little bit younger than I was. So he might be mid-50s. Um, but I believe that he's still... Just like I saw with Dave the other day when I saw him online, after all those years, still a believer. And uh, so that just touched my heart, and I wanted to share that with you. I am going to come back, though, this week on this subject of the binary system. Uh, listen, friends, you know, I smile about things right now, but I want to tell you something. We are living in a very dangerous time right now. I can't encourage you enough to know the love of Jesus Christ more than ever in your life is now. You need to know him. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoit with Israeli News Live.